Sam? Yeah? East Coast, West Coast, this how, whole... Uh, how's the show so far? You, you gave us a pep talk right before the show today. Yeah, yeah. you guys have been doing really good today. The oh, energy's thanks. way up. Thank you. Um, Thank and you. the audience is loving this. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Great, Sam. Thanks. What did you hear us saying right before the show that, that disturbed you to the point you had to give us a pep talk? Well, the problem was it was 6.02 <laughs> a.m., and you both said... Man, I can't wait till 10.30. <laughs> yes, I do recall uh, us saying well, that. When you hadn't even started the show. <laughs> and he said, man, I can't wait till 10.30 so we can get the expletive out of here. I, I think it's, uh, you know, the, well, the, the vacation schedule, Sam, has been very difficult yeah, to recuperate from. We're still trying to get back into the rhythm of this. Oh, I know. I'm I not, still got a little jet lag. I'm not trying to discredit any of that, but I just think that the best way to go into a show <laughs> is to go in with a different type of energy. You know what I mean? You, uh, you like heard us right out of the box, attitude. though, man. We, 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 we did well. Oh, you did oh, really yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we actually said that? What else did we say? Well, that's what you said. And then <laughs> you said, you know, that you should still be on vacation. Right. Um, and then what did Opie say maybe about starting the show? <laughs> oh, right. Of course. <laughs> you said that... Uh, you since first of all, it, you both pointed out that I was trying to give you a pep talk when it was already 602, <laughs> which would be two minutes after the quote unquote start time of the show. <laughs> you then said, um, as I was talking, you know, my plan is to get us to the point where we can start at 620 <laughs> <laughs> and then end at 1030. Right. Well, yeah. And then as, I guess, time would go on, you'd you'd do less and less and just have yeah. me well, and E-Rock introing bits for the first that's hour. That's how it goes. <laughs> exactly. Next thing you know, Opie and Anthony are actually Sam and E-Rock. <laughs> <laughs> no at, one knows the difference. At least till just, you know, a couple of weeks after vacations. Right. Because this vacation thing, like I was saying before, oh, boy. I got home probably uh, around noon yesterday. And I slept until 5.30 in the afternoon. So then I get up, I watch TV, I do things, and then I realize it's 2.30 in the morning, I'm still awake. See, maybe you should work on changing your sleep schedule and go to sleep and stay up all day and then go to sleep around 5.30 p.m., and that way you can come to the show with that rested energy. See, you know what the problem is there, though, Sam? Uh, having a life. Okay. See, I, I usually, if I, if I don't sleep... I can go out, I could do things, I could have a life, but I'm so completely exhausted that I would I would be like that uh, interview uh, on Larry King. I'd be like, I don't remember, <laughs> I don't know what happened, wow. I think I beat her, I, wow. Yeah. I wouldn't remember. But but now I sleep, and now I, I can wake up and kind of have a nightlife mm -hmm. where I just, I pretty much sleep after work. And then I nap before work. Yeah. It's See, pretty it's, much what it's turned out that, to that be. That makes sense. But it leaves me really sleepy when I wake up. Yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking. Maybe start thinking, I don't have a nightlife, but you know what my life is? The show. Oh, really? That's what I do. Fast, remember, fast, fast forward, forward 15, that old. Yeah, fast forward 15 years and you'll be sitting just like we are. Oh. Stare at these tired, miserable faces. <laughs> this will happen to you, too. Remember being a fresh-faced oh, youngster boy. like that, Opie? Oh, it was cute. Oh, coming in and going, you know, radio, it's just my yeah. life. I, I, you know. Enjoy your passion I just, yeah. and your motivation, Sam, because this world will get you, too. Yeah. I just feel like if... Maybe we as a show yeah. put out more positive energy. <laughs> yeah. That's what will come back to us. Oh, uh, really? You know what no, I mean? You know what happens? The more positive energy and goodness for the show and dedication you put out, mm -hmm. the more shit management will pile on top of you. Is that what you. they're doing? Yes. Oh. Sam, let me go back in time. We uh, we used to do a little show for a little station called WAAF. Oh. Yeah. The, we would get off the oh, air at 7. Man. And then the show prepping for the next show would start immediately. At, wow. at 7.01. Anthony was known to still be at the station around 10 o'clock at 10 o'clock. Recording Three spots. hours <laughs> after the show ended. Recording now, commercial spots that's right. for the station. Because you know what I did? What? I didn't just voice these things. I produced. I had to pretty much write them. They gave me an idea. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me an idea of what they wanted for a commercial and said, here, Anthony, go to town. I'd been in radio a whopping, oh, <laughs> six months. <laughs> and uh, they wanted me to do voices. And then I was tracking, like you doing doing eight-track recordings 
with tape. Yeah, one track at a time, my tape. friend. Tape. I would have to put the use the the, the four track mm -hmm. and bounce that to the eight track. It was an abomination. The creativity was off. Flowing, oh, Sam. My oh, and my God. 10 o'clock, I would be going, well, it's 10 o'clock at night. I've been there for, <laughs> I, like, longer than a real job. Well, yeah. you certainly would get there before the show, too. Which, oh, my God, which, yes. That's how, long gone. How long? But, uh, <laughs> like 20 I, minutes? I would get 20 there. 20 minutes? That oh would be my late, God. my friend. The show Hours before started, the show. Oh. If the show started at 3... You damn well know we were in there by what, one thirty. Oh yeah, no wow. prepping, prepping, recording bits. Sam, fast forward fifteen years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what time do we show up and what time do we leave now? Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, you guys will kind of get the rundown on what's going on around quarter to six on a. I'd say on a good day, you know. Yeah. Sometimes, uh -huh. yeah, we're running a little late. You'll get in, you know. Right, five to six. Say. <laughs> well, but, but you know, we prepare the show. I mean, look, yeah. look what I prepare. Well, I prepare the yeah. one sheet every day. That's actually what. That's like me, Danny, and Travis. Oh, really? To do that stuff. What you just hand this to us? Yeah, I, kind oh. of. Like that. I just want to, uh, in 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 our defense here, we are like off duty cops. <laughs> yeah, never really off duty. That's what I think. Cause I'm you know what? show prepping. When I'm home just watching television. Because I'll do, I'll give you guys some audio or something or some prep, oh, and I'll think to myself, it. I wonder what these guys are going to do with this today. See? Mm -hmm. And that's, see? that's your magic. That's our magic. But do, that's you actually, magic. do you actually see us uh, throwing your work in the garbage? <laughs> yeah, I do. Really? <laughs> I see, well, yeah, I see it in the can. <laughs> yeah. Because you guys leave so quickly, I don't get to see anything. And, and what time do we leave, uh, Sam? Let's say, All the, right. let's say the show ended right now. Okay, so what time is it? It's about 7.30? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the show ended at 7.30 on the dot. You guys would be down in the lobby. We're on the 36th floor. So you guys would be down in the lobby by 7.31 and 30 seconds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's actually been times when people from down the hall, management, have come in to talk to you about the show. <laughs> and they'll come in and see an empty <laughs> studio and look at me and be like, no way, where did they go? I didn't even know the show was over. They're gone. I noticed. I'm glad you brought this up, Sam, because there's a new thing that happens. I saw it happen yesterday, and I saw it just before vacation. When we say, like, all right, we're out of here, Ron and Fezernax or whatnot, I actually see uh, most of the you know hardcore listeners know we have this very long hallway that yeah. we can see all the way to the other side of the building. As soon as we say, all right, we'll see you guys tomorrow, I actually see a sea of people <laughs> running toward the studio, hoping they could get here it's, before we make oh, the no, left no. turn toward the elevator bank. It's like a race. It's, <laughs> it's a well-known fact around here that if you want to speak to Obi and Anthony, you must be outside the studio door before the show, before ends. The show ends. If yeah, you're oh, there yeah. one minute after the show ends, you will not see well, the stars. I, I will admit to uh, doing this. I have finished the last break <laughs> of the show as I'm packing my bag up well, to yeah, leave. That's, people it see has you. been on my chair. I am packing it and speaking into the microphone. Right. Our, our favorite move is to make believe we're going to be back after the break. That, <laughs> that really confuses the management yeah, around here. That's always happened. They, like, come in here, they, go? they come in here and they're like, Wait, is, it, is the show done? And those guys leave? <laughs> it is the Thank constant you. battle to try not to speak to management. Right. Yes. That's what we think of you assholes down the hall. <laughs> deal with it. Yes, Dan. But that's not fair. Because then we have to deal with that. Yes. 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 Well, See, that's uh, what you guys do. Right. Some people say. That's your magic. Some people say, but all the promotion, like the sales promotions and stuff, Opie and Anthony must go to sales meetings, not realizing that Opie and Anthony are represented by. Sam and Danny in right. at sales meetings. Yes, you are our uh, representative. Well, you sort of know how we think, so that's yeah. good enough. Yeah, you go in our stead. We yeah. have staff meetings that don't include Opie nor <laughs> Anthony. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yes, but after 15 years, don't you think we deserve this? Sam? I, I think you deserve it. There's right. emails and to Twitters. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> makes things a little more. By the way, uh, good news for you. I don't know. What? So, tomorrow I'm bringing in razor blades, what? pills, <laughs> what? and oh. a noose. Tomorrow's the day. I don't need any of those three things. All you have things. to do is choose which way you want to kill yourself on the air live. Or figure out a way to use them all, all three at the same time. Right. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, 
You could use them all three at the same time, See, definitely. See, if, if I brought in a gun, that's highly illegal. But if I happen yeah. to have some pills, if I happen to have, like, a noose, yeah. it doesn't look like yeah. a noose. It's just a, a piece of rope. We'll make that's, it into that's a That's a hate crime. And then it we also have uh, some razor blades. Noose, I think. Well, I don't know. Razor blades are dangerous. To, again, this is I'm a, hoping you go with the razor blades because you, you bleed out and we, we'll get a lot of uh, air. It's very graphic. A lot of air time with you, no, Sam, before I'm not you gonna, pass out. I did, I'm not going to commit and suicide. go for the big sleep. I'm not killing myself. <laughs> the big sleep. You're going for the big uh, sleep for us, aren't you? I have no reason to commit suicide. I mean, things are going all right. How's the costume for uh, the costume for Fur <laughs> oh, Fright? I, uh, even Danny, I almost we got, we, we got an update on Sam's yes. costume. Yes. Yes. Do you mean Danny has a I have an update. I was contacted by a boy who is going to be attending Fur Fright. Fur Fright 09. He has an extra costume for Sam. Did you say costume? Oh, I'm sorry. Costume. He has an extra costume for costume. Sam. I'm not wearing a used and he has no problem lending it to you, buddy. No, there's no I bet it smells great. Better dry, cl clean the jizz out. I think, oh. it's, I think it's of a wolf, so you get to be a scary wolf. Ooh. I don't... With I, the genitals cut out. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> Remember. And, and your hiney hole. And your hiney hole for easy access. The costume isn't even in... Hush. Costume development. I haven't given it one bit of thought no. because it's just not anything that occurs to you me. You said naturally. you would do this. We would, we have to well, get into their world. You're like you, a you, you know, said you're I would a do reporter, this. A you're, representative. Uh, you're like Mike Wallace. I am going to knock on some doors <laughs> and let them knock on yours. <laughs> oh, you're a representative of the Opie and Anthony show. Have some pride. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to wear the uniform, I guess. Yeah, so wear the uniform. I, I, I hope the listeners are keeping track, but I do believe we're 45 days away from Fur Fright 09. I mean, maybe wow. we kind of... 45 days, and it's in Connecticut. It's it's, it's perfect. Come on, it's local. Right, right, you got to go. Do yeah. one of those two-week vacations again. Maybe we forget about some stuff. Yeah. Nope. All no right. vacation for a while, my friend. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm game for that <laughs> if we get swinging strong. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Are we happy about the show? We're happy we get to come in and do the show? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Of course. Okay. I look forward to it every morning when that alarm goes off. Good. I, mm -hmm. I, I just <laughs> bolt up out of bed and go, yay! You get to jump up and say, today I get to be Anthony Cumia. Yeah. Yeah. I go. You know what I say every morning? I wake up and go, it's showtime. <laughs> yes. Great. Yeah. It's showtime. That's how we pull this off. Because the show starts... Like the second my eyes open. Exactly. I'll look at something and just go, <laughs> that'd be funny for the show. <laughs> I can't, you know, whatever it is. Well, just, that's that's what makes you guys special. Sometimes you th see things and think of it in a different funny way than other people. Oh, of course. You know? Thank God we have eight TVs because I didn't even know what was going on in the news today. <laughs> <laughs> no, I woke up. <laughs> I went, oh, the fire is angry in L.A. I could do a couple minutes on that. Lots of papers and CDs. <laughs> oh, and really? News articles <laughs> sent yeah. overnight. Oh. And, wow. I mean, we tried. I did kind of get out of the habit of looking at the news during vacation. <laughs> vacation really fucks with the show. I used to be a paper guy no matter yeah. where I was on vacation. I honestly, I think I read maybe one paper over, over the break. Yeah. Pla yeah. The placemat, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> the placemat yeah. in the restaurant? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> All right, Sam. Yeah. So thanks for the pep talk today. I think yeah, it, it helped. I think it really helped. Yeah. Well, I'm glad. As long as it's, it, it helps you guys and helps the show. Maybe we mm -hmm. can start recording the pep talk for everyone because it was terrific this morning. I mean, if that's what people want. Yeah, you know something? Uh, it was very good this morning. I yeah. like, though, that it was very spontaneous. You go and yeah. listen to the first few yeah. minutes of the show. You, you, you can't tell that we're miserable. Well, I, I would hope <laughs> you're not miserable. <laughs> that's the ultimate goal. <laughs> I I talked to Anthony twice during break. One was to say, hey, yeah. how's it going? <laughs> a little, hey, how's your vacation? And then what was the last one? What was the last text I sent you? I might even still have it. I think it was about, let me. I, I honestly might have it. It's it's worth reading for everybody today. Was it business oriented? Hell fucking no. <laughs> Well, you guys were, you deserve a vacation. There's nothing you know, wrong with that. Kind of just uh, decompress from anything work related. Yeah, let me see if I can find yeah. it. Even though you had Bobo at your house. <laughs> yeah. Naked. Thanks, keep the cop. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, let me see. All right. <laughs> oh, ooh. shoot. I yeah. erased it, I think. Oh. Do you still have it on yours? No. Uh, hmm. Uh, let me see. Do you was, remember what it was? It was basically bummed out. I was bummed out that vacation was just about over. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
I do remember the... And I said something thug. like, only two days before we have to deal with those assholes again. Yeah. What did thug. you mean? <laughs> Not I. Like management uh, and stuff. No. Yeah, sure. Whoever sure. wants to That's throw it. themselves into the asshole <laughs> ring. Right. Keep myself outside. No. <laughs> Just staring over at that dolt with the glasses <laughs> 10 feet away from the computer monitor. I don't even know what he's doing. <laughs> Club Soda Kenny. Club Soda Kenny. He is sitting at that computer. His face, I swear, is four feet away from the screen. Look at how short the chair is. His arm is reaching up. He's reaching up. He's got his glasses on, and he's just staring at the monitor like like someone who doesn't know what they're looking at. Yeah. It's like new technology to you. Why do you sit so far from the monitor? I'm reading English. <laughs> <laughs> but I understand. What are you, you looking are, at, at the, on the computer like, right now? Wow! Like what are you looking four at? Four feet away. Yeah. What are you looking at? I, I was I was reading an email. <laughs> oh, okay. Very important. Business related. Personal. What are you no, doing? It, You're hooking up? It, no, no. I'm, <laughs> I'm a happily married man for oh, over 25 okay. years. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. No, about I, that. You you hook up all you want. Oh, no, no, no. What, use, like, the Internet to hook up? Oh, that's crazy, Wow, that's Kenny. weird. What's wrong with you? Who does that? The right. future. No, you're a single guy. You should enjoy your life. Yeah. Kenny, uh, yeah. what time do we leave? <laughs> we leave after the show, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Give give uh, a normal day. The show's over. Let's say, all right, it's right here. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Let the listeners know what happens. You're in the elevator within nine seconds <laughs> of ending the show. Is it true people chase us down the hall because they need answers? Yeah, well, we're trying. We're, we're running away from them. Sometimes management will squeeze into the elevator and take the elevator ride down to the lobby because yeah. they need to talk to us. Yeah. And, and just to make sure that there's no leeway time, not only has, does they have pack up during the last couple minutes of the show, but r before the show ends... One book neck strap is on the shoulder. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm actually ready to, to leave the door. I've, I've gotten this phone call in my vehicle. Uh, Anthony? <laughs> yeah, what's up? What, where are you? Oh, I'm, I'm on 49th. You know, I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm headed. Yeah, we had a meeting today. Uh, we, we came down like right after the show ended. Right after. Oh, see, that's the problem. Yeah, I had to get, I really had to get out of there. I saw four suits running through the studio <laughs> yesterday. Oh, my God. Literally. Did you see and that? And you would think mm -hmm. that would that would be a sign to us that, oh, wait, maybe they need maybe to talk. Maybe something's to us. up. Yeah, we got to talk. <laughs> yeah, but that just out. meant, let's get out of here faster. Out. You guys can't be faulted because you're better at time management than them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> if, if you listen to the show and it sounds like Opie and Anthony start talking very fast at the end of the show, it's yeah. because there's management at the end of the hallway. <laughs> I've gotten downstairs faster than Hans Gruber got downstairs at Nakatomi. <laughs> it's just time to leave. Yeah, time to go. I think we're going to start doing our last break from our cell phones. Why don't we just do oh, that? Yeah. You're going to go to your car and you're going to tell people that you can't be interrupted while the show is on. Yeah. Yeah. But then the last break, you're already going to be out of the building. Out of the building. Okay. So that we know, literally, unless you're here. Well, you can't be bothered before the show because you're getting in the zone. No, no. I, I love. Uh, not much time. So no time at all. Zero. I love the listeners that are still holding out hope that we're going to go to 11 again. <laughs> 11? What are you nuts? Shit, oh. that's OT. You did a long show yesterday. We sure did. Yeah, we did. That yeah. was our, you know, first day back from vacation. Yeah, we that was a mistake. That throw was... everyone a ball. <laughs> we didn't want to set a precedent. Right. Yeah. So, so make today, up for it. so today we can make up for it, right? Well, yeah, they all lost a little down. time, so <laughs> don't expect us past ten fifteen today. <laughs> it's like balancing a checkbook. Yeah, you know, Sam. you make deposits, you make withdrawals. Ooh, yesterday we deposited some time. That's right. Now in we the get time it back. bank. Now we can, you know, withdraw a little. Mm -hmm. I thought it was just like. How bonus you, time meant, like, it was a bonus, not like, we're going to take this away from you tomorrow. You know when that stopped? When we stopped getting bonuses. Oh. That's right. For things like Christmas. Yeah, they don't believe in bonuses. And no. And actually, I don't know, maybe. Incentives. Maybe giving you a little more money, you know, year after year. Yeah, yeah, things like it's, that. Yeah, strong argument. Yeah, same yeah. salary for for three straight years. That makes sense. <laughs> that's going to that's gonna motivate us. <laughs> yeah. How do you know we're even live right now, Sam? Well, I How mean, do you know we're not home That is true. As the people listen to this. 
We could be home. And this is all just acting. Yeah. We could have recorded this yesterday. That's right. But it would have required you Staying. to be here after the show. Would it have? Really? Who, Unless. Who, who has yeah. recording equipment at home? That's true. See? I know someone. Could have done that. Well, we're hoping that, uh, you know, Ted Kennedy's going to pull out of this one, but we're not really sure. Yeah. So. Well, huh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's not looking good for That's, Ted Kennedy. Uh, yeah, and I uh, want Tiger Woods to win the Barclays <laughs> this Sunday. Oh, yeah? The yeah. Barclays? Barclays? Yeah. <laughs> this Sunday? That, that would mean that Ted Kennedy's already dead. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to Kenny. <laughs> the Barclays. <laughs> <laughs> the Barclays. Yeah, you know that golf tournament in Jersey City? Right. Yes. Yeah, it's it going to be a big one. That's a fine golf course. <laughs> yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. All right. Uh, a lot of people really do want to know, Sam, what your costume is. Well, I don't you. have a plan. I don't. Let's I, say hi to John in North Carolina. John. Hey. Yeah. How you guys doing today? Hey. hey what's man. up, John? I, I know how Sam would have been upset if he would have missed, you know, being able to wear a costume <laughs> to his little uh, convention there. I wouldn't have been upset at all. I don't want to go. You should. You have to go. You gotta do your what's the haps. Yeah. I, yeah. As you're being pounded in the ass. By no. Like <laughs> someone in a costume. The back of that costume is getting cut out. No, I, I mean, the most I'll do is maybe go interview people, but there won't be any gay your, sex. Your bunghole, your bare <laughs> bung is going to be exposed. No, yes. <laughs> It'll be reinforced. <laughs> oh. Hey, um, hey. Has Sam given any thought to uh, how he's got to kill himself for the show yet? Well, no. Well, tomorrow I'm bringing in razor blades, uh, a rope to make a noose, and and some pills. Come up with some kind of Rube Goldberg thing that, <laughs> that makes it happen all at once. Like you knock over some dominoes, and the next thing you're dead. Yeah. No, I don't have any reason to kill myself. We well, do. <laughs> to kill. What? No, I, I mean, well, well, that wouldn't be fun if you have a reason. So you just want to just you're for doing exciting, it for the show. Yeah. Give you a pep talk. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess depending on the pep talk, but I really don't yeah. see myself doing that. I don't understand why you wouldn't just run really fast toward one of these windows. Because then I'd break the window wow. and fall out and die. That would be cool. Yeah, just give us a warning so we get some mics near the window. I, it's probably going to be a long time coming. I just don't see myself uh, killing myself, committing suicide anytime soon. Eh, never know. Uh, <laughs> people <laughs> suggesting you go as gold dust to... In six oh. or it's a furry fright. Oh, I'm gonna have to bring in some pictures. Furry fright 09. In sixth or seventh grade, I don't remember which one. I dressed up as gold dust. Get out. Full outfit. <laughs> just, just uh, full outfit. My Why? mom made it because I was a big gold Your dust fan. I had a robe too. I had a full body yeah. suit and gold face paint and a wig, and I spray painted boots gold. And I wore that outfit to Madison Square Garden in 1996. Mm. True story. And what did people do? Were you beaten to a pulp? No, they, I was working with my dad, and uh, they asked if you know if his daughter wanted anything to drink or if his daughter was going to say, "Oh, that really?" Was, and I was his, his son. Oh. I was a boy then. Did they think he was the Iron Sheik with his mustache? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> did they ask your dad about time travel? <laughs> a curly mustache. He does have a curly mustache. Does he still have it after all this abuse? Of we give him? Of course he does. He loves it. He oh, takes never pride in it. Yeah. A yeah. little wax. He still... He every morning? He doesn't really need to wax it at this point in his life because there's been so many years of waxing. It's trained. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sam, we got a, one of your fans on the line. Very, oh, very good wow. news. Oh, cool. it's actually uh, Coke Logic. Uh, Coke Logic, a fan of Sam. Yes. Yeah. Good evening. Hey, Coke Yes, I am. I am a fan of Sam, but I think we could do two words of one stone. Oh, two words of one stone. I'm oh, an boy. asshole. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you still there? Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's rough. <laughs> Hell yeah. You, you, you had a chance to step back on the gas there. He goes, like, he was really hoping that, that there would just yeah, be a dial tone at that yeah. point. <laughs> yes, we're still here at Coke Logic. I was really hoping you guys cut me off to sit, spare me there. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, Sam should be fucked to death. You know, what? For the show. Fucked to death. At, at Furry Fright 09. In his costume. Costume. I couldn't have less interest in that, in doing that. But what? But I couldn't want to do that any less. But he's a fan of yours. I mean, no, uh, I mean I, uh, Bob in D.C., Bob. <laughs> okay, so this is going to require a contribution from both O and A. Okay. Uh, 
Anthony will bring in the firearm, and Opie, you need to bring in the assisted handgun suicide device from that movie Shooter with oh, Mark Wahlberg. Sure, right. Mm. And, and we strap up Sam into it, and that way he can't back out at the last minute. This sounds like murder, though. This sounds like forcing me yeah, to commit suicide. It's a little no, bit of murder. Suicide. It's assisted suicide. It's homicide. Sam. Assisted suicide is not like legal or anything like that. It's in still... Oregon, it is. We're not in Oregon. Well, for the sake of argument. <laughs> okay, for the sake of argument. You know what would be for great? For the sake of the show, Sam, it's going to improve morale. You know what? He's right. You're all about improving morale. Oh, Why don't you take the first step? I mean, because. Yeah. Lead by example, Sam. I don't know what that'll do for my morale, is a problem. You know what I say we do? We get you a one way flight to LA. Okay. And you just slowly start walking toward the fires. Oh, no, yeah. No, dramatically. No. Yeah. I mean, I'll go to L.A. Dramatically. Burn yourself <laughs> alive. It's so painful. Can't hurt. And make sure the reporters know you're doing it for the O.N.A. A. show. And then Where just it? dramatically start walking toward the fires. Let's just wear an open Anthony damn, when shirt. that big, huge afro of yours. <laughs> oh, man, when that thing catches, <laughs> you're catches done. fire. I don't see myself doing that either, really. But it's great. It's I, a big news story. Everyone is focused on the fires. God, that would help. Fires, your, your suicide. I feel like. With an O.N.A. A. mention. I feel like we run the risk of some reporters taking a negative spin on it is the only thing. Hmm. Not really. Yeah. Like shock jocks convince we've producers. We've learned over the years any publicity is good publicity. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, you guys are the pros. Oof. Are there any um, uh, of the new interns that are standing out? I know we have a, a, a couple. Well, we just, interns. we've only met one new intern so far. He's only started. We interviewed a bunch, so they'll be starting. Okay. Do so they know how much of an asshole them. you are yet? None yeah, of them. Yeah. No, none of the interns think I'm an asshole. They think oh. I'm a teacher, mentor, maybe right. role model. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Some idol or deity, but no asshole. Uh, so what? Are the, what? What is the? Is the new one um, good? Well, he was good in the sense that he was making fun of Swivel Hips Evan yesterday. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> he had the sense to not take any of Evan's advice. Oh, wow. Okay, so, very good. Very wise. I mean, that's potential. That's a lot of potential. And that would be a Graham? Graham, yeah. Or as Kenny so cleverly started calling him, Graham Crackers. <laughs> oh, oh, no, that's hysterical. Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, I saw him walking around with a, around with a giant name tag. Front end Now it isn't even a name tag anymore. <laughs> they are full sheets of paper that they just write in black magic marker their name. We and should, put it on the front and back. We should force the interns to dress in furry costumes for oh, their entire internship. I support that. With the butthocks cut out. Yeah. Yeah, that I'll support. <laughs> yeah. There's just something about their, their ass <laughs> being cut out that really makes with it. With their genitals <laughs> hanging out. Let's say hi to John in North Carolina. John? Hey. There. Hi, guys. Hey. hey. I think Sam should be dressed up as an orangutan with a big red ass. Well, you know what? You can. That's not you, a bad idea. Sam. Before you get into the costume yeah. with the ass cut out, the orangutan costume, uh, costume, drag your ass all over the <laughs> rough carpet so it gets very red and tender. I can. And then when you put it on, it'll look like a, a, a mandrel ass, like a, a real baboon ass. Or about just a suit with like a fake. Nah, nah, ass on nah. you can see the fake, the, the fake like, ass. That's ass. been done a million fake. times. Uh. That'll be good. Like you, you should be prolapsed too, where <laughs> you're. <laughs> Where your a- asshole is falling out. Right. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. It just seems... What, what about Constipate this? yourself in force. <laughs> what about this one, Sam? We uh, we line up people that have the swine flu and they cough in your face. <laughs> no, oh, it's that's a terrible a good one. I'll definitely catch swine flu. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. But then we see how healthy you really are. Well, I mean, I'm pretty healthy, but once I get the swine flu, I'll be, you know, remarkably less healthy. Well, that's something we could do in a press release. I understand that, that, that we're but doing a medical study. The ONA show is doing some kind of study. See how contagious it is. Yeah, and and people are actually coughing in in Sam's face that have the swine flu. But the problem is, you guys are not medical doctors. You're you know radio professionals. Yeah, we got Doctor Steve when he's awake. If you get yeah, it, but he's drunk all the time. <laughs> if you get it, you got it. If you don't get it, yeah, that's all we What's need. Big to know. deal. Right, don't we need yeah. to be doctors for that. It doesn't seem healthy. It's the only thing. I have health concerns. Uh, well, we got more people calling about your costume. Costume. Uh, Luke wouldn't. in Wisconsin. Luke. Hey, how you doing, gentlemen? All right. Uh, I think the most appropriate costume for him is, um, considering he's getting cum shots and gang bangs, he should be a porcupine so he can be porked from behind. <laughs> I will 
be hot. I that, don't that's, quite get it. But. And I'll tell you this. Watch the spin on it. I will wear a porcupine outfit, and that way I'll keep everybody off because they'll get stabbed with my quills if they come near me. Oh. Uh, oh. How do you like that? Oh, so you want to give? <laughs> no, I'm not going. Oh, that's a good idea. We got another uh, suggestion. Uh, John in Mobile, Alabama. John. Hey, uh, you need to fly him out to Seattle. Let him find that horse that did that other guy. Okay. He can put on his furry outfit, go to town, <laughs> and get great radio. Wow. Great Dude, radio. that's a hell of a way to go out. I, it is, I mean, yes, it is a memorable way to go out, and I will fly to Seattle for the show. Will you please be fucked to death by a big, huge horse for <laughs> the show? That's where I'll draw the line. No, I will not be fucked to death by a horse. What's the problem with that bit? Well, number one, it includes bestiality, which I'm not supportive of. And number two, the payoff and end result would be my death, which I can also <laughs> not get behind whatsoever. So we're not into this show anymore. Yeah, what the fuck? He used to do anything. Jake no, in I, Jersey. Jake. Hey, you know, I don't want to see anything happen to Sam because he's a lovely little fellow. Thank you. But I think that, that he should take one for the team and, and do Bukaki furry fright. Well, see, that uh, would you do a Bukaki video. No, I would not do a Bukaki video. Because you that look like a like a Rastafarian when you're done, twist it all up. <laughs> Probably, I mean, it would get stuck in my hair and things. It would be mentally scarring. Yeah. Uh, and it would not be a sexual turn on at all. How do you know that? Yeah, how do you know that, Sam? It never, is an never, assumption. Never I will. It. I will admit that it is an assumption. You've kissed men. I have kissed four men. <laughs> I think it's, that you, it's fair to say that it's not gay if you're in a furry costume. And you can't use that one out of context because it's true. Well, that's, yeah. So, four men. Right, punching out. Four, yeah. Four. That's pretty impressive, Sam. I think four men. Or maybe three, but four times. Right. You are quite a fruit. No, no, no. That was all for, you well, know. Theatrical the show, reasons. Yeah, I'm used to do things for the show. I mean, I'll still do things, just not. Are you Are you going to Furry Fright or not? I mean, you know, you're the boss here. Yeah, well, we just need a costume. Costume. Well, I don't have a costume, obviously, because I'm not, that's not my sexual yeah. proclivity. I'm not a stop, furry. Stop using big words. There's a guy who's going to Fur Fright 2000. Yeah, but I don't want to use that guy's old furry costume <laughs> because he probably had but intercourse with he it on. has a costume for you. But all the dirty parts, you'll be cutting out anyway. <laughs> no, right. I don't like, want it's to. probably got jizz on the ass and maybe on the front. But we're going to cut out the cock so you'll have a little <laughs> cock hole. And we're going to cut out your coolie hole <laughs> so your coolie He's got to let his out. ball bag hang, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> out of a different hole than the penis. Very close together, but just one cock you know, hole. And then pull your ball through the bottom you know, another hole. You know that uh, we've all seen the squirrel with the big ball bag? Yeah. So let's get you a I, strike. You're saying it too. So let's, get you, let's get you a squirrel costume mm -hmm. and then pull your balls through the <laughs> no. bottom. See, I don't want to. Oh, that's great. I don't want to sound like a diva. Right. Yeah. But that it's still bad because I don't want a costume that is in the Jeez. private parts is dirty or cut out. So yeah. if the private parts are missing or dirty, no, no, oh, look at look, that. Look, how that's funny how you're that face. No, <laughs> that's a squirrel. We got the picture of the squirrel with the and ball bag. You can just bag. spray paint your it's ball bag down. gray like that. Yeah, I can respect and understand the humor value, but it's just not something that I think no. I'd be comfortable with. Yeah. Because you know my testicles would be in plain sight. It would be a good costume. <laughs> it, would, I mean, it would be a good costume. Costume. <laughs> Where does he learn? Where do I speak I properly. No, you really You're not don't. supposed to speak properly like that. That's how you speak costume. I, I know your dad's from the 1800s. <laughs> no, he's not oh, from yeah. the 18th. He, he should have taught you how to speak like they did back then. He's not from the 1800s. You sound like a Civil War letter. <laughs> <laughs>